Hello, Nevis here. I'm going to show my students how easy it is to use the voice typing on Google to improve their English pronunciation for fluency. So here I am in my Google documents. I've created a Google voice typing uh, tutorial notes document, which I will be handing out to all my students together with the link to this video tutorial. So the first thing I need to do is to find out where the voice typing is in my Google Documents and I go over to Tools and there it is hiding right down here. So what I need to do now is click on that and this lovely icon pops up and all I need to do really is click on this which I'll do in a few seconds. Um, what I want to show first of all are a few other things. First when I hover over with my mouse over the microphone icon the question mark symbol shows up. If I click on that, it will actually open up a drop down window that gives me all the assistance I may need to look up other things on how to use this wonderful tool. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can choose which language I want to use to voice type, and there are many languages as you can see, quite a number of languages. So you can have fun doing that in your own language. Right now this is for my English students and I have chosen English United Kingdom even if I'm Australian. I've chosen United Kingdom just so to show you that it can work even with an Australian um, and it may show up some errors which is what I'm hoping it will do as I go down. So the tutorial that I've prepared here on the Google Docs goes through all the motions that I'm going to show you now. First of all, I'd just like to give a quick special thanks to Jim Baker who um, took the time to insist on teaching me how this worked and uh, showed me how it could help my students. That's why I'm preparing this video tutorial. So. Now that's what I prepared earlier on and that's what I tested. So we'll just go down now and see how it actually works. So here I am on a page where it's blank. The voice typing is going to show up here. I'm going to put my mouse pointer into that box and what I want to say is this phrase here. These are phrases for practice. Now I've added my own but I'm hoping my students will add the ones that they know they're having problems with and then use the voice typing area over here to see what the voice typing will actually show up. And here in this column repeat with a question mark I would just like my students to write down how many times they had to repeat it in order for that to come up correctly and it will help them understand uh, how they're improving their own pronunciation. So let's try this wonderful voice assistant and I'm going to click to speak. And it's already picking up something. That's not what I wanted obviously. But you can see how wonderful it is. It's just working straight away. Now I'm just what I'll just say what I had to do then. I had to press enter in order to be able to start again. I'm just going to cancel. I'll leave that there just to show you how it does work. And what I'll do now is say that phrase. So I'll just click again. I won't breathe. Hello, my name is Jane. Good morning. How is the weather today? A little rain, but mostly cloudy. The colour of my umbrella is blue. My water bottle is yellow. My water bottle is yellow. The window sill is very dusty. When did you see Mary? Her handbag is on the chair. Her handbag is on the chair. Okay, so now you can see how easy this is and it looks really good and it didn't uh, show up some of the errors that I had before. Not to worry, it's just another tool that English students can use to practice their pronunciation. When you can pronounce the words in a clear manner that a voice typing assistant 
can a voice typing robot can understand your English, it means that you're well on the way to being understood even over the telephone on a business call or a, a social call or whatever. The other thing that we're not going to be worried about is punctuation obviously in this type of exercise. What we're doing here is just practicing the pronunciation. What I did notice was that the voice typing doesn't really work for singular words or well at least it didn't for me. So I found that it does work better for phrases. But if you do insist on using it for words you just may have to practice a little bit harder. Other than that, um, enjoy it. I think it's a wonderful tool and it's great, a great practice. This is Nevis signing off till next time. Thank you for joining me.